Yo, what is going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am actually on OS Legacy. Now before we get into this video, there are two announcements that I want to make. First announcement is if you are new to the server, which you probably will be because this server is a brand new released server, so definitely come check it out. But you can use the referral code NoobsOwn as shown on screen right now and you'll get yourself some free started stuff in the beginning. So yeah, that is a very nice head start if you want to um, go ahead and do that. Also, I will be actually playing the server quite a lot because I'll be making an Iron Man series on this server as well so definitely make sure you join in, in game as well so we can hang out and maybe do some Slayer or stuff together because you actually have to do a Slayer on the server but I'll show that in just a second. Now starting off with a showcase video this is the home area as you can see it's a custom home area it's uh, pretty nice pretty simple as well which is very good in my opinion you don't have to make stuff too hard. Um, in the bank you have the makeover mage then you have a donator store and a um, vote store which is hopeless you can spend your vote points right there you can also um, spend your donator points right here as you can see you have two donator shops you have the rares which is like third age and santas and party hats and all that good stuff but you can also check out the equipment store where you can actually get yourself some dragon claws ags um, some voids some jewelry and that stuff so yeah that's pretty nice as well uh, moving on right here you have um, yeah, the master crafter where you can basically craft some stuff you also have the skilling store right here where you can get a bunch of skilling items as you can see you can get like equipment for skilling which is like pickaxes hatchets you can get fishing rods here and stuff um, you can also get some equipment for farming herb lord you can also get some miscellaneous stuff like you can get some gems to start up crafting some uh, bait for fishing you can get some moles to actually go ahead and do some crafting so yeah this is basically the startup point for skilling um, before I run away to that side, my bad, you can also um, just catch your fish right there, right next to the bank, which is super simple. Um, right here you have like a mining spot, you can also train some wood cutting here, so yeah, that is super nice. The skilling shop is right here as well, so if you want to go to here for the skilling instead of there, it's the same shop basically. Then once we get to here, you have the chemist where you actually can decant some potions if you want to, as you can see right here. Um, I don't have any potions to decant, but you can actually decant them right here. You also have the Shady Insurance Agent, which can insure your pets. And as you can see, there are 45 pets in total, which is quite a lot. As you can see, you have Baby Rune Dragons, Baby Red Dragons, Hobgoblins. Then you, of course, have some boss pets like the Krill Tsutsura, General Grador and stuff. Um, so yeah, also some scaling pads, so that is super nice as well. Um, then you have right here, you have Oziac where you can basically buy yourself a rune play body if you want to. Nothing too special here. Then right here you have the basic stores, like the melee store, range store, magic store, you have the pure shop, uh, an Iron Man store if you are an Iron Man of course, a shopkeeper where you can sell some stuff, you can also get yourself like a free enchanted jam for Slayer and some other basic stuff that you can use for um, skilling as well. And you have another skilling store. Um, right outside here you have the wise old man where you can buy yourself some skill capes and then mech where you can buy yourself a max cape if you are maxed. Um, right here you have the nurse that can restore your prayer, your um, health and also your special tech and your run energy which is very nice. And then you have a bounty hunter right here and if you pk some players you get bounty hunter points. And as you can see, you can buy yourself some really cool stuff if you have the amount, uh, right amount of Bounty Hunter points. Um, you can get like, yourself an AGS, some Spirit Shields, you can get yourself some Ancestral or Armadillo as well if you want to. So yeah, this shop is pretty damn nice. Um, right here you have Prayer Altar and the Altar of the Occult uh, with some other banks if you want to. And then right here some General Stalls and uh, that you can use to train up your beginning thieving levels. Now going through here, you actually find yourselves in a place where you can get yourselves to Neve. Now there is a special interface if you check out here. You can get yourself a regular Slayer task, but besides that you can actually do Duo Slayer, which is pretty nice. If you want to know what Duo Slayer actually is, you can go ahead, pause the video and read through this. Or actually hop on in game and read it yourself. Um, then after that you can unlock yourself a bunch of stuff with Slayer points. For example, the malevolent, uh, malevolent Masquerade, where you can learn to combine a protective Slayer headgear and a Slayer gem into one universal helmet, which will be the Slayer helmet, of course. You can also spend your uh, points right here. As you can see, some uh, items are quite expensive. For example, the um, 
Black Mask 10 will cost you 750 Slayer points, which is quite a lot. But then again, just doing Slayer will gain you a lot of points, especially if you do, do Slayer, it will speed up your progress. So yeah, that is very nice as well. You also have a Mage of Zamorak, which will teleport you to the uh, runecrafting areas. And then you have the Doom Slayer right here. So if you lost some untradeables in the wilderness, you can actually reclaim them right here, which is very nice. Now, besides that, if you actually go to the quest tab interface, you have a quite a lot of unique features as well. You can have a profile viewer, so you can actually type the name of the account you want to check. So I will just type Austin because he is the owner of the server. And then you can actually see all his stats that he has. As you can see, he is of course maxed out because he is the owner. You can also check out when his account was created, the total amount of time he has actually played in game, how long he has been online at this moment, what his, what his net worth is, the clan he's in, his total level, his um, KDR, um, his skill counts for a certain amount of bosses and of course the achievements and quests that he has completed as you can see he completed all the quests and achievements so there are actually three quests and 42 achievements the achievements you can check right here as you can see you have the easy achievements you have medium you have some hard achievements and then of course you also have a few elite achievements which will be a bit harder um, but going back, you can also check out your own information right here. You have a bunch of information, your KDR, that skills, some um, drop rate bonus, some points that you can gather and stuff, what your rank is in game. You can also check out the NPC drops right here by typing for an item like the Abyssal Whip. Uh, if you type Abyssal, you will of course find the Abyssal Demon and the Abyssal Whip, uh, Walker, my bad, and the Greater Abyssal Demon. And then you can just check the drops, how rare they are, the quantity that you will get them in and that good stuff. Now besides that you also have the um, achievement button looking like thingy right here. Now if you open up this you can actually check out miscellaneous settings. As you can see you can actually enable or disable the welcome screen, a trivia bot, global yell, drop notifications, untradeable no notifications or the prestige colors. Besides that you also have a drop simulator, a kill logger, title manager and the slayer interface, uh, interface which I went over before. Now for the title manager you do actually have quite a lot of custom titles like the god slayer which has a certain uh, requirement. You need to kill 200 god war dungeon bosses in total to actually um, unlock this um, certain title. And then you can redeem it and um, then you can of course use the titles if you want to. But yeah as you can see there are a bunch of titles that you can actually go for which is pretty interesting. Um, you also have the kill logger which basically shows how much kill count you have for each and every single uh, monster that is on the list right here. And then of course you have a drop simulator which is very nice as well. So you can actually check out some of the drops. For example if you want to check out what loot you would get from 10,000 Commander Ziliana. As you can see, uh, oh this is from 100, let's see how much we get from uh, 10,000. We actually got 2.7 bill from 10,000 Commander Ziliana. If we re-roll you can see uh, it will go back to 100 but if you re-roll a few times you can see it's different every single time. You will see the total value that you will get, you will see the item. So yeah that is pretty nice if you ask me as well. Now for the places that you can actually go to, if you just click on the world map, you can get yourself opening up the teleport interface. You can add some teleports to your favorite teleport. So if you go to monster killing and you want, for example, uh, let's scroll down, uh, demonic gorillas. This was one of my favorite teleports. You can just click it right here. And then if you go to your favorites, it will be right there. So yeah, that's very nice as well. Um, you have some mini games. You have the gamble arena, duel arena, barrows, fight case, pest control, warrior's guild, and then the recipe for disaster, which is a quest that you will need to unlock the barrow gloves um, you also have a few player killing areas like the mage bank edgeville east dragons west dragons and so on you also have the wilderness resource area which is very nice if you want to go do some skilling but it's quite risky as well of course um, some skilling places for agility crafting farming and the other skills of course of course the wilderness resource area is in here as well and then of course the most important teleport probably is the bosses teleport as you can see there are a bunch of bosses that you can go to you have the god wars kill king black dragon zolora kraken and so on and so on let's have a look here to vorkav real quick so if we teleport to Vorkav, it's actually really nice. You have the full map, so um, yeah, you will have to climb over the ice chunks to actually go ahead and uh, unlock Vorkav. Then you will have to poke him to wake him up, and then of course you will have to um, fight him, which I'm not going to do because I am not geared for it, I don't have food, and I'll die in just probably two seconds if I stay here. Now I just want to go to the catacombs real quick because 
Now, everyone knows what the catacombs are, but what's really nice is that they actually managed to add the full catacombs with the monsters and everything in just one day, which is very fast. So this means that they are actually putting quite a lot of work in the server at any day they want to, uh, and they can push out updates really quickly. Right now, they are actually working on the um, raid, so the Great Olmwood. Um, so I'll show you guys a sneak peek of that. I just have to PM the owner real quick so he can teleport me to that spot. But yeah, just imagine how much work it is to actually add this in one day. So yeah, that is a very nice job. Anyways, let me just PM the owner real quick so we can go to the um, Great Olmwood. By the way, speaking of updates, if you actually want to go check out the forums, they post daily update logs. So yeah, that is quite insane to actually push out daily updates. Even if they are smaller updates, it shows the community that they are actually working and putting quite a lot of time on working the server. So yeah, that is very nice. Definitely make sure you check out the forums. You can check out all the updates yourself. As you can see right now, we just got teleported to the Chambers of Skyrex. As you can see, they are still working on the map. There are still a few issues that they are um, having to fix. So as you can see, you will be teleported right to the Chambers of Skyrex. You can actually um, have a storage unit right here that you can share. And then once you go in, you have the phases. As you can see, um, oh, this is just a bank chest. Okay, that's very nice. Um, so yeah, you can check out your bank here. But as you can see, they are still working on this. This is, of course, a sneak peek for one of the upcoming updates. Um, so they will be working on finishing up the Great Omelet. So you can actually do this boss in the near future as well. So that is very nice. But yeah, as you can see, the uh, owner is actually just using a T-bow and some gold mode to actually showcase um, the mechanics of the first phase. Uh, so yeah, you basically just kill the hands and then uh, you walk around so you don't get hit by these things like I just did. Um, Alright, now one last thing I just want to show before I end of this video is the donate the zone. So you can actually go there by typing ty uh, column column D zone. Um, as you can see, this is the first donator zone. This is for the Sapphire donator rank, which I'll be giving away later on in this video, by the way. Uh, but this is basically some scaling that you can do here. You can train some uh, mining, some wood cutting as well. Some fishing and then of course fire making and cooking right here. Now the thing about this donator zone is that you do manage to get bonus experience for this uh, donator rank. Now if you do have a higher donator rank, for example, if you have the emerald donator rank, you can actually just go through this door. You get a similar space but with upgraded ores uh, and upgraded trees so you get more experience as well. Same here, you do get bonus experience if you actually skill in this area. Now going up to the ruby donator rank, you actually have another zone right here where you can train yourself a, some farming with the herb patch. You can also train hunter and you have all the teleports to the rune crafting altars right here which is very nice. Now you can also go through this door if you have a uh, diamond donator rank, then you also have the um, dragonstone donator rank and the onyx donator rank. Unfortunately I do not have this rank right now, but these zones are also not quite finished yet, they are still working on these zones. But yeah, it's very nice that they actually implement mm -hmm. skilling and the system that they work with is very nice as well because you can go through each donator zone, you can look at them all um, with your donator rank. So yeah, that is very nice as well. Now, as I mentioned while I was showcasing the donator zones, I will actually be giving away two sapphire donator ranks and also a Christmas cracker. Now, these are three pretty nice prizes. As you can see, you will get a free donator rank. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed. Also, turn on the notifications. Make sure you like the video and comment your in-game name. And I'll be picking the winner in just a few days after I upload this video. Anyways, that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Definitely make sure to enter the giveaway. Also, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure to smash a like. And um, I'll be catching you guys in my next video. Peace.